There's a lot of cars in the parking lot and a school bus parked outside of CMAC. What's going on? Oh, and some sort of survey. Oh, another one of these. Look at you, dude. That's a, that's a nice setup right there. Had to get some work done at CMAC, including getting Johnny set up to be the very first production inside of the Express Studio, a workshop. Uh, but it's already time to go home. Let's go home. Didn't break 100 degrees today, so I'm pretty thankful for that. Let's get out of here. Okay, back home. You may have noticed I wear a lot of hats. Well, I don't, I wear hats a lot. I don't have a lot, a lot of hats, but I, I have quite a few. But there are some hats that I haven't been wearing lately because they're dirty. And I don't really know the best way to clean hats. I've got some with sweat stains and cat hair and it's a whole mess. So here's some hats that I haven't worn in quite a while, like this Star Wars hat. I got it in Disneyland, yeah, Disney Parks, uh, 2016, maybe, no, 2015, even before um, A Force Awakens came out. Uh, and I was super stoked. I wore it all the time, but it's super dirty in here. And there's even like a sweat stain on the bill, cause I don't, I don't remember, there's something I did and I wore it. I got it really, really sweaty. Um, and I haven't worn this hat in a while. Uh, my Scooby-Doo hat is not as sweaty, but there's like a bunch of like cat hair that's hard to get off of here. I don't, I don't know how well that's gonna work. And then I have this uh, Squirtle Squad hat. I got this one, I think 2016. And it, I, I, I haven't seen a hat like it. It was just like a local vendor that had a bunch of these made. Uh, my sister Delaney has one of these as well. Now some of it, I think it, this is like stained. That's not gonna change. I, I think the sun really beat it down. I've worn this one quite a bit. Um, but there's a fair amount of sweat inside of this one. And in some of it, yeah, this blue, I think the sun just beat the crap out of it. Even the thread isn't as uh, vibrant as it used to be. But um, I bought something to help me with my dirty hat woes. And that's uh, the uh, cap, ball cap buddy. So I think there are three ball cap buddies inside of here. Um, and I, I think I put the hats inside of the ball cap thingy, the buddy, and then I either, do I, I think I put it in the dishwasher or the washing machine. I, I need to read the instructions. Let's see, here they are. So the hats go inside of these things that hold them in place. Your cap's dirty, wash it, ball cap buddy. Zip ties, so there's three ball cap buddies. I'm gonna start with these three hats. I might throw a hat that I'm not as precious about in there too as a control to see like what would happen if we didn't have the ball cap buddy. I think that would be a fun science experiment. Um, yeah, there's this kind of latchy. How does this, this is very intricate. Instructions, open the frame. Do not open the frame at the front clips. Yeah, so the front, yeah, that stays that way. Fit the cap into position for extremely soiled caps. Use pre-wash spray. Um, so like, like OxyClean or something, All right? Dishwasher recommended on top rack. Warning, washing machines have changed drastically since Ball Cap Buddy Washer first came into the market. Use caution and only on gentle cycle. Not recommended for any washing machine with a center agitator and never in a front loading tumble type washing machine. Well, that's what I have, so that's not gonna work. And a center agitator, so it's really just the top loading ones that don't have a center piece, so the only wash like clothing washing machines you can use so they want you to do it in the dishwasher and they want you to only use it on the top rack place and top rack only i guess you know you can melt it in the bottom rack add dishwasher detergent do not use lemon detergent wash on normal or light cycle leave ball cap buddy leave in ball cap buddy cap washer to dry washing machine small or medium level well, I, i'm not gonna use washing machine so i'm only gonna use the dishwasher Okay, so the hat, so this one's luckily it's easy, it's Velcro. I can kind of get it in here a little better. Close it in here. I don't have any like super flat ones, like flat brim ball caps. That's 
doesn't, there it goes. All right, it's in there. Let's try, let's try Scooby-Doo next. Okay, we'll open it from the back. Now, Scooby-Doo's a slider one. Well, that's going around there pretty well. So the ball cap buddy, yeah, looks like it's, it's mostly gonna just maintain the shape of the hat. Um, but even then, like, uh, putting it in a dishwasher, how deformed could a hat get in a dishwasher? Now, I get it, in the washing machine, like, things are tumbling and moving. You gotta maintain the structural integrity of a hat. But in a dishwasher, do you really need it? Like, if, especially if, like, the little pokey things on the dishwasher are holding it up. It's, I don't think it's that big of a deal. All right, let's put Squirtle in here. Squirtle Squad. And now I have three... Hats and the ball cap, buddy. Let me grab a fourth hat to use as a control and come meet me down at the dishwasher. Here we go. I got the hat still on the ball cap, buddies, and I grabbed my C Mac hat. Uh, this is, I think, it will be a good control hat because if I totally ruin it, I can just go get another one from C Mac where I work. I wear this hat uh, typically when I'm do work in a production, I'm not wearing a C Mac shirt. Uh, I got the dishwasher here. There's a few dishes in here, but they're not terribly dirty. Um, yeah, just some cereal bowls, some tongs, a cup, um, plate, and some. It's, I, it's mostly clean. I mostly cleaned this out recently. Whoops, I popped the ball cap buddy apart. All right, so Scooby Doo, I kind of want to put Scooby Doo upside down because I'm mostly concerned about the cat hair. It's on the Scooby-Doo hat. And then um, the Star Wars hat, I care less about. So maybe I'll put Star Wars on the bottom since there's not a lot of room. And it says not to put it on the bottom, but I don't think I'll, I'll do, I won't do some extra heated. Hello, Finfin. Finfin fin, fin says hello. And I'll put Squirtle Squad on the top. Oh, Lauren's home. Hello, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. I'm putting my hats in the dishwasher for the ball cap, buddy. Wait, did you get yeah, all right, and I'm putting just one hat in here as a control. Ew, as a control? Yeah, I wanna see if the ball cap buddy is like actually You're doing You're gonna something. wash it with dishes? Yeah, they're just, these are pretty clean. She's judging me, she's judging <laughs> me. So we'll put some dishwasher, we'll put a Am cascade. Am like laundry detergent? No, it just, it said to use the dishwasher. I already read the, I already read all the, all the instructions on the vlog, they are, know. Are you using your least favorite hats? Um, I'm putting one hat. I, you like that Scooby-Doo hat. That Scooby-Doo hat, I'll yeah. Know. Yeah, Scooby-Doo needs to be clean though, pretty bad. So, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it on normal. And I'm not gonna do a heated dry. And I think that's it, okay. And I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna do the wash temp juice because I don't want it to melt. Let's put it in and hit start. We'll check in in like two hours and see if it worked. Uh. Okay, the dishwasher just finished. Let's see how the cap buddies did. Oh, it's steamy, oh, it's so steamy. Uh, hey, well, I went against the rules and I put it on the bottom rack and it didn't totally melt. Or did it? No, no, it didn't. Why, why does it want to let go? Okay. Yeah, the hats are still wet because I didn't do a dry cycle because I thought that would melt the cat buddies. Um, oh, it's kind of, that's weird. It's like the soap is in the uh, sweaty part, but it didn't quite all rinse, maybe? I don't know, is that soap or is that just wet sweat? I don't know, maybe this needs needs some rinsing. I don't know. Let's check out the hat that wasn't in the cap, buddy. Uh, yeah, I mean, structurally it's wet. It also has sweat in the, uh, I don't know if it's sweat or if it's soap. Maybe I need to rinse these. Again, let's check out the top rack. Oh, Scooby-Doo has got a pool of water. Shake you out, Scooby-Doo. And yeah, kind of the same dealio. 
got, I think that's soap. I think I just need to rinse these out in the sink and then squirt them. Lauren is suggesting a rinse cycle with no soap. Yeah, same, same kind of thing. Now this is probably less of a problem with the cap buddy, more of a problem with the fact I used a soap pod. But I also put it in here rather than in the delay release. So I was hoping the soap would kind of get rinsed out. Because if you watch Technology Connections video, great video on how dishwashers work and why, in fact, these are not really good for your dishwasher. Um, yeah, maybe I'll just put these in for a, for a rinse. But uh, the dishes are probably good. I could probably take the dishes out. And yeah, figure out, do a rinse figure out why this soapiness built up in the hat because I definitely don't want to wear, if this is soap, I don't want to wear the hat like this. This will probably cause my forehead to break out. But um, yeah, very interesting. So the cat buddies did their job in the dishwasher, but you might not actually need these because the hat that I didn't put in the cat buddy really basically held up about the same. Now these are mostly like ball caps, dad hats. I'm gonna put the ones that were in the cat buddy back in the cat buddies, rinse them out, see if we can get some of this uh, soapy sweatiness out of here. Okay, no more dishes, just hats on the top rack. Control hats on the bottom rack. And we put it on rinse and there's no soap in there. Let's see if that uh, does a better job. If that cleans out the uh, soapy scum on the sweat there. Thousands of tears later. It doesn't say clean, but I think my rinse cycle is over. And they're still wet. Oh yeah, but there's less of the uh, sweaty, soapy stuff. It looks a little more even. Of course, this is the most worn out hat. It's a little bit better. There's still some in there. Mm, yeah, that looks better. And the last one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I actually need the cap buddies to wash hats in the dishwasher. It seems, you know, for these hats, it's probably gonna be okay. But I probably should not use the pods. You should just use regular powdered soap. Cause uh, yeah, the, well, yeah, there's still a little, still a little soapy or salty or something in there. Sweaty. Uh, I guess I'm gonna let these dry and maybe I'll check in on them tomorrow.